the, no, the snowball effect with debt. Um, this is something that a lot more people should work with. Um, is the realization? Get yourself a pen and paper and write all the different payments you make in a month. Um, you may only make some of them weekly, but if you're paying them, uh, sorry, you may only make them once a month, um, but it, it's on a, a weekly amount. It doesn't matter. You want it, the totals for the month. Look at which ones are costing the most interest, which ones are the biggest ones, the smallest ones, because different people work in different ways. Some people like to get rid of the smallest debt because they feel they've achieved something because it's gone completely like for example you've got a hundred pounds on a credit card and you're paying the whatever the interest fees are every month being able to pay that card off and just cut it up and throw it away there's a sigh of relief because that's just wipe that debt completely in the same way other people may actually prefer to pay off a car loan which is on a um, very high rate um, for car leasing or whatever so getting rid of that is is an achievement because you'll find you've got spare cash um, I remember years ago, was, I think mine was costing me £179 a month. Um, so when I got rid of it, having an extra £179 in your pocket every month makes a big difference. But also, if you've got all these different debts, you've suddenly like, I paid this one off, I'm no longer owing them £179. That £100 credit card, you pay off in one go. And then you find that you start whittling all this down. It's, and it's called the snowball effect. Because once you start paying your debt off, because you've got more money circulating, it gets bigger and bigger. Because you can pay things off faster. Because the more debts you pay off, the more cash you have. Because you're paying less interest every month because you're paying less money to them. Um, because you're paying it off faster. So you're not getting the, the accumulated interest every month because you're paying it off at a faster rate. Um, and a lot of people get out of debt doing it like that because you can you can see the differences quite quickly and it may take you two years three years to get completely clear but one thing I do not recommend is sticking your head in the sand get rid of the debt get yourself completely debt free and then you'll find that life's so much easier you also find that you're probably paying two three hundred pounds a month in various interests um, across the board and some, sometimes more, and then you may have all the drafts and penalty fees and all that, where if you can wipe all that out, your life gets a lot, lot easier. Um, because instead of paying them, it's in your bank, which means you actually have more money instead of less. You need to change the way you, you see and value money. It's nice to have a nice car, but it's not nice to have the stress and everything that goes with it if you've got it on finance. It's much better to actually save for the car. Um, driving around, like we, we drive around an old van, we will buy a car when we're ready, but at the same time, it's not a rush. The van gets from A to B, it may not be the prettiest creature on the, on the planet, but at the same time, who cares? Um, being debt free is much more, um, what would you call it, much more free. Because you, you are, you, you're free, you're free of that burden of debt. And if you can get to the point where it's just your mortgage or whatever, and you were paying a lot of interest and stuff on other things, start paying your mortgage off early. Go in and find out about how that impacts your mortgage. Go and speak to the bank and say, right, my mortgage is, say, £400. What if I started paying off 550 a month? How long would that change? You know, could I knock five years off the mortgage? Or can the interest be reduced? You know, and you'll be surprised how much that £100, £150 will make a huge difference to the amount you're paying the bank in interest. Because, I mean, when I look at mortgages, you're basically doubling what you're paying the bank, the value of the house. Um, so when you pay it off early, they're getting less money, which means you're keeping more of your money, which means you can pay it off earlier. And you may actually get more into the positive mindset and say, I'll tell you what, I've had a good month this month, I've got £400 spare. I'm going to pay an extra 400, including that 550 that I was going to pay. I want to pay that 400 early because that 400 is worth a lot more. If you're, especially if you're a start a mortgage, but the quicker you pay it off, the happier you'll be, the easier life will be. Thanks for watching.